Hi, welcome for uh, our online training sessions. In this session, I'm going to explain one uh, important uh, option which is provided by Oracle in Oracle uh, Payroll. So what exactly this is is in Payroll module, we are running the Payroll where we are going to see the different processes and reports will be executed. Okay, so when we run the payroll for multiple employees, sometimes we'll be getting the errors. Now, my client requirement is, let's say we are running the payroll for three employees. When we run the payroll for three employees out of three, one payroll one for one employee, we got an error. And uh, client says that, let's ignore that error and continue the processor for uh, next uh, level for the remaining two employees. It means we want to go for rollback the errors and then we wanted to continue. So that, that type of requirement if we have, then how we have to do that. Generally, we, we might have come across how to run the payroll, how to roll back. Uh, These are all options, right? So, but when it comes for, uh, you know, uh, this uh, rollback errors, only the errors will be rolled back and the successful records will go ahead with the next level. So now I'm going to take here US uh, simplified payroll cycle. Let me take this. And I've already defined the payroll. There are three employees for this payroll, RTL payroll March 2023. And I'm going to say that I want to run the payroll for March period. What is the payroll name? RTL payroll. That's fine. Choose the period for which period you would like to run the payroll. March 2023. How about the consolidation group? We are going to choose the consolidation group. RTL group here. And run type is uh, regular. So we are running the payroll regular process here. EFT organization payment method. Electronic fund transfer. We have already defined the uh, standard RTL organization payment method that we wanted to continue here. And we'll go for submit the process. As usual, whenever we submit this uh, payroll process, multiple reports and multiple processes will be executed. Like uh, run validation report for payroll, verify payroll validation report, verify retroactive notification report, recalculate payroll for retroactive changes, and verify retroactive report. So these all are reports, these five are reports before we run actual payroll. This is actual payroll execution. But before that, these five reports will be executed and we are supposed to complete this manual task saying that we verified that report and going ahead with the next one. Right, so now if we look at it's running here, validation report for the payroll, it's running, it's validating our payroll result. All 20 processes are very important when we are working in the real time. We must know each and every process, what exactly it will do it in, in our uh, payroll flow. We must know it. If client says that I don't want 20, you know, 20 processes, I just wanted to have the mandatory things. What we have to do is we should not use this uh, payroll flow. Instead of US uh, simplified payroll cycle, we will go for create our own payroll flow. We can also create custom payroll flows. Custom is nothing but new. Uh, there we can include whatever the processes and reports are required in the sequence order. But mandatory processes and reports, we are supposed to keep it like uh, calculate payroll, archive periodic payroll result, grass to net report running, prepayments, Right, EFT payments. This is all mandatory. Check payments, generate pay slips. Mandatory process and reports needs to be included. Remaining, if there are any optional process, we can go for eliminate if we are not uh, interested to go ahead with that. Now it's been done, recalculated. Now we have to verify this uh, retroactive report and I'm going to say that it's marked as complete. Now the actual program is running, calculate payroll. This is the main program which is going to calculate our uh, 
payroll and uh, it's a standard process system is running this let's go for refresh and what system is going to do is first it will verify how many employees are there for the payroll whatever we have selected and it it will trying to run the payroll for those employees for this particular payroll period now look let's go for refresh takes a couple of minutes uh, time. Now, if we look at here, the process one is completed with alerts. Now this calculate payroll process has been completed with the alerts. Let me just go for a click on this calculate payroll process. We'll come to know what's exactly the problem. And we'll come to know how many employees payroll system has tried to calculate and uh, which employees got errored out, which employees got uh, successful. Now, system has picked three employees here. System has picked up uh, three employees here. Out of three, two are success. For two employees, it's fine, success. But one employee, it's got failed. For one employee, it's got failed. Now, if we look at here, let me go back here. Now, if we look at here, uh, for second employee, system is showing some error messages. If we want to know what's the problem, of course, we can go through the employee name, then we'll come to know what is the issue here. And now what system is telling uh, payroll calculation is the problem. Error was encountered when processing payroll relationship 6384. Nothing but that's our person number, payroll relationship number. And is, uh, the direction information is not available for the employee. So it means uh, you hired an employee, but uh, for that employee, you might have assigned some tax reporting unit of that does not have the direction information. Okay, so that, that could be the reason. Uh, that, that's the reason why uh, it's got uh, errored out. Now, what client is telling, uh, let's ignore this particular, uh, you know, errors and uh, roll back this error and continue with the uh, two employees. That's the requirement. So in that scenario, what we'll do is, let's go back to our process. Once we come back to our process here, then go to task list option here. And we can find here retry. So if at all you want to go for retry this entire process, then it will be used. Okay. And rollback. If you want to go for rollback the entire process, then it will be used. Rollback this entire process. If you want to skip this task, can we skip and continue with the next one? But skipping means uh, the system is not going to continue with the process because this is major process, right? It's a mandatory process. Without this, we'll not be able to perform here, right? That. And let's go for uh, here, submitted flows. Here, related flows. And if we want to view the messages, we can view. The last option which we are talking right now, rollback errors. Whatever the errors we got right now because of this process, those errors will be rolled back and it will continue with the next level. Because if the process is uh, incomplete with a warning message or error message, we cannot continue to the next level. We cannot go to the next level here. Okay, so we are supposed to make it as a complete. So what I'm trying to do is let's roll back errors. Only errors will be rolled back. Whatever the records has got success with that, it will continue to the next process. So that's one of the future. So rollback means entire process will be rolled back. Rollback error means it will roll back only the errors information. 
or with successful records, it will go for continuation. So now the process is again submitted here. Now we can find the calculate payroll has been completed successfully, but it is showing some notification messages here. Some errors have been rolled black, rolled back. If you want to see those details, uh, you can view over here. You can view over here it is. Okay. So now the successful it is done. Once it is done successfully, the next one is common. Run grass to net report. Whatever the process we have. Next, that we are going to get it here. It's remaining is a continuation process. First, it will go for calculation of the payroll, and after that, it will go for execution of this payroll, and uh, finally, it's going to be specified here. See, now the calculate payroll is done, run grass to net report is done, then verifying report. That's about uh, a rollback errors concept or option which is available while running the payroll. Okay, thank you.